All right, thank God. One more of these little runbacks to get through. I feel like it's maybe not great that we're already straight into the, the get through mindset. Like, I, I feel that that, that that maybe doesn't bode particularly well. Maybe I'm just a pessimist, though. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of cleanup that we can do around the Empire here. Uh, we can get this guy. He's just hanging out, doing his uh, 9 to 5 before he flies back home to wherever he is. Things seem remarkably chill, considering. Oh yeah, you would think that, like, the the uh, the nation that's now ruled by the by the lady who has a literal god might be a little more on edge about us being here, but nah, they don't give a shit. I mean, maybe they're all just like, uh, we've got literal gods on our side. Why do we need to care about security? And it'll, it'll all work out. I'm sorry, what? Well, uh, you may remember that when we first came to the Empire, she tore up her diary because she didn't like how it, like, how she had written it. I guess, I guess at some point between now and then, she, she got her thoughts together in a way that she was happy with. So we're gonna steal those thoughts. Okay, okay, right, but, 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 but hear me out here. This, somehow, even by this game's already strained standards of metaphysics, has managed to be an escalation. Like we're we're not even we're not even distilling the essence of mattresses anymore. We've we've read something and we've managed to somehow capture the expressed idea, the thought, from a documented writing. Like do you understand what this means? I mean, I don't think this is realistically any real any different from how we're carrying around the family tree on a card either. From I mean, the, the, at least the family tree, you can say, oh, it's like, it's some stuff that we know, but you can say, oh, fuck it, it's just scribbled on the card. Like I've been I've been working on the basis that the family tree is just scribbled on the back of a card this whole time. That's how I've been keeping sane throughout all this. But this. No, 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 no. The, the implications on epistemology are simply too staggering to allow this to pass uncommented upon. It's this... This is not tolerable. I can't deal with this. Right, anyway. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this kid who told us to get out of his, uh, his village. And we're gonna give those thoughts to him as a peace offering. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it a long way. It's really not that far from Mintaka. Yeah. It involved the world map, therefore it's just default kind of long. But the, the... Like, we still... Like, we, we just took out the card and, and we gave the thoughts. It's not like... We could have just said, Oh, you know, by the way, I, I read this girl's diary and she said this. But no, we're, we're actually somehow imparting thoughts directly. Like, it's not just it's not just metaphysics and epistemology, we're now coming after language. Like, what's even the point of regular communication after or after this? If we can just literally transcribe thoughts and directly impart them. The the, the the fact that this technology exists and isn't already the basis of a completely different, all-powerful empire is just, it's too big a plot hole. We need to increment the sins counter like 30 times for this. Anyway, I'm not sure how you would ever know that that's there. Like, even just... Yeah, you know, like you fall down and it's like, oh, here's this little secret area. I don't know, you know, where is that? I have no idea how you would find that. You just basically stumble across the against the wall for a while. 
yeah, that's video games. It's absolutely video games. I mean, all all the JRPGs used to do this kind of stuff all the time. I mean, it's it's like it's just this really stupid separation where this kind of thing is only hidden from the player because of the perspective of how the world is presented. And on the SNES, you had walking behind sprite layers, and on this, you've got well, basically the same thing, I guess. Just just wander off into the. The undefined abyss. You'll find something out there eventually. I mean, it's only undefined for us. Like, we can take it that from the protagonist's point of view, that it's like an ordinary, entirely unremarkable cave tunnel. And you can just walk down the other branch. It's just they happen never to do that because they're under the complete control of a player who can't see it. But nobody comments on this because why would they? It's just one of those things that we accept is always going to be weird in video games. Not that that will ever stop us complaining about it, of course. Well, I guess we've got more marginal stat escalation on the way. Uh, this is the first. This is the first one that you could credibly call an actual threat. It is also the last one. Make of that what you will. Right. I mean, at least this, as a puzzle, was uh, pretty obvious. I could have told you that. I'd be very careful to use the right lava because I'm trying to get the other one to turn into a hot rock so I can give it to I was going to say, are you, are you waiting for it to cool down in real time and accidentally give the older one? Because that's just the kind of consideration that we think is normal these days. Fuck. Yeah. Well, what do we got? Um... Wow. That bad, huh? Yeah, wind and darkness. Anything remarkable at all? That's uh That's that's yeah, sounds sounds like a negatory. Uh um yeah, completely identical. Same area, same music, same tactics. At least the instant death bullshit was... something? I mean, it wasn't good, but it was something. It was ostensibly something that you could plan around and made it a unique fight. This is, um, not. I think this one has a laser that paralyzes you? Some shit like that. I mean... Yeah, something. I feel like it's possible. Like, probably kind of slightly iffy on the difficulty, but possible to balance the stuff like, you know, different elements in a way that presents uh, some semblance of variety in how you deal with it. Like, don't be nervous. I don't know. For, as, a, as an example off the top of my head, Final Fantasy VII Remake has, did, has the standard element spells you'd expect in Final Fantasy. And they all behave a little bit differently in ways that are just important enough to make you occasionally think about physicality. Like, you've got fire and, and thunder hitting. Well, fire is a projectile. It explodes on impact. Thunder hits instantly. Ice sends a projectile that stuns and then has a hit. You see, you see what I mean? That that kind of thing. Just so when you have like the the four designated bosses and they're all different elements, that they, it injects a tiny bit of variety into proceedings. 
I think that's the thing that you can do now. You came to save me, Shella. Of course, you. I'd never give up on my friends. Thank you for coming. To tell you the truth, I had almost given up hope. I thought I was done for. That all our efforts were in vain. I mean, they kind of are. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Like, it's things nothing. got a little bit out really? of hand. Are you okay? Can you walk on your own? Like, let, let's, let's, let's not forget, yes. the entire backdrop to this entire situation is that we basically delivered all of the End Magnus directly to the person who wanted them. It was a minor blunder. It's just a marginal suboptimality. Great to see everyone back together. Yep, everyone. Finally. That's right. All the party members have been gathered. So, what do you propose we do now, Shella? Let's go back to Anua Nua first. I want to let Queen Karelia, King Latakan, and Lord Calver know that I found everyone. We also need to ask them about any new developments. I mean, until that, until that second part, I was going to say that there was absolutely no reason for us to have to do that in person, but... I'm sure, if we want to actually have a back and forth about development and tactics, then... Out of interest, how long does it take the lava? Yeah, so, in an effort to get this hot rock, I, I spent the last... I spent about 15 minutes, real time, hanging out here, doing absolutely nothing. Video games. It's still lava. Uh, what, what was the 100% speedrun time again? Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 339 hours. Cool. Cool, rational, logical game design. Everything's great. I'm still just kind of quietly in awe of that design decision. So I stop right here, because I'm like, I'm not going to get fucked by this by going to advance the plot, and as soon as I get there, have it be like, oh, it's a hot rock now. But no. But I, I almost do kind of have to respect, if it was as deliberate as I suspect, the effort specifically to just get one over on speedrunners. Like, not even for any kind of purpose, like, not really accomplishing anything by that means, just, like, just to have something that's there to completely throw the balance off. We have returned, your highness. Welcome back, Shella. It's good to see everyone is safe and sound. Yep, everyone. Sorry if we worried you, your highness. I echo the thought, your highness. You must be the great Mizuti. I am Corellia. Though we can't offer much in the way of hospitality, I welcome you to Anuanue. The great Mizuti bid everyone be at ease. Forget not to call me the great Mizuti. <laughs> it's truly a pleasure to meet you. You've done well, Shella. It was the least I could do, Your Highness. How are things going? Well, Before we're still fucked. To break its silence. Releasing the end Magnus isn't that easy of a task. They haven't even actually started attacking us yet, really. Darkness, both under Melodia's command, have been launching attacks on each island. Duke Calvin I mean, and King Lavatan are on the front lines. I feel like we'd have noticed that. 
how we've managed to hold our ground, but the soldiers are showing signs of exhaustion. That doesn't sound too good. We can't continue on like this. Fatigue is bound to take its toll on the men sooner or later. We must do something, quickly. Yes, but what? I wish I knew. We have little choice but to sneak into the Empire again and try to recover the End Magnus. Uh huh. If you did, you would likely fall prey to Melodia and Callus. Also, like, we, we were just in the Empire. If some breakthrough, it would be fruitless to infiltrate the Empire. We need some kind of plan here, people. I ain't going down without a fight. I mean, I admire Gibari's. What was that you just said, Mizuti? What's the word I'm looking for here? I, I feel like there was an attempt at bravado. But. I don't know what exactly that was. Anyway, I feel like I've heard this story before. And uh, as I recall, the last time we went chasing a mysterious witch with supernatural powers, we uh, we had to do a really stupid book puzzle. Yeah, that was a whole thing. That was a whole thing with a library, and it was pointlessly haunted. If I remember correctly, there hasn't been any contact between Wazen and the Five Islands for several hundred years. Oh, good, good. This this plan sounds better by the minute. This is definitely slipping into just stupid enough to work territory. I could go, your highness. See, Corellia rightfully was like, mm, you know, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna work, but I don't have enough faith in it to actually commit any of my people to it. And then Jella just had to go and fuck it all up. Instead, we're going to send, well, I was going to say apparently the only five competent people on all the islands, but then apparently, like, these guys have been managing to hold everything down against the newly enraged Empire indefinitely all this time, so maybe we're not so special. I mean, this was your bad brain scheme, Mizuzi. Thank you, everyone. Well, I mean, it was Mizuti's idea, and then Jello was the one that, like, approved it, so... I'm gonna say that technically they're both at fault here. Yes. Together we'll find something in Wazen. That's okay, though. We're gonna tell her it's a great idea. All right, then. We'll handle matters here. You go on ahead, Shella. I pray that you will find the help we're looking for in Wazen. Or, you know, literally anything. Like, I, I can't stress enough how basically any development would be an improvement at this point. Well, I mean, why wouldn't you go looking in a frozen wasteland that hasn't had contact with the mainlands in several hundred years? in search of a witch who might not even exist. I mean, that's just sound planning. Yeah. There is kind of a want of alternatives, though. I mean, I can kind of sympathize with them. A tiny bit. I don't know. I can't really hold too much of this against them, really. Anyway, I can't wait to find out how it goes wrong. <laughs> 